Hi, I'm Michael Gaddis, your local La Costa real estate expert. The other day, I went to a Chamber of Commerce uh, first Friday breakfast at the La Costa Resort. And I was dri as I was driving over there, I was just amazed and enamored with the beauty of the area in which we all live. Because during my drive, I was speaking to my sister who lives in southern Illinois, who was telling me at the time it was two degrees and they, she had just shoveled 15 inches of snow out of her driveway. She texted me some pictures of it, and it just made me all the happier to be uh, a resident of, uh, of, of this area. So it is extremely, uh, we should all be extremely proud that we live in such a beautiful area with such uh, great weather, even though we think it's chilly when it's really not. Um, the purpose of this video is to provide you with a market update uh, for the La Costa area as of December 12, 2013. I plan on uh, doing these videos once a month to try to give people a little bit of an insight into kind of what's going on in the La Costa area. When I pulled up the statistics on the MLS for La Costa, the one thing that kind of caught my eye was the large number of listings that have price reductions. Um, I guess I shouldn't really be overly surprised by that because traditionally the winter season is the slower season so for many reasons you know people don't want to move during the cold the cold uh, they don't want to uh, take their children out of school um, it, there's a lot of reasons why so it doesn't really surprise me that much it's a little bit disappointing probably to homeowners because after the mini boom that we had this summer and, and, and late into fall you know, a lot of people probably listed their house with a little bit greater expectations than what it, what's actually occurring. Probably the volatility in the uh, banking industry is also causing some of those uh, decreases. Uh, as the banks and the lenders uh, tighten their belt on lending, it makes it a little bit more difficult for uh, home buyers to acquire loans. And as everyone knows, most people who buy houses need a loan of some sort. So unless somebody's paying cash for your house, they're, they're going to need a lender who's going to approve them. And as the banks tighten that out, it definitely depletes the pool of buyers. So there's a combination of reasons as to probably why there has been such a, uh, uh, so many re uh, price reductions. Um, when I look at the st statistics, um, the average for all listings in the area, whether it be active, contingent, pending, or sold, the average square foot of the house being sold in La Costa right as of this moment is 2,458 square feet. The average list price for those houses are is $771,923. Um, the, the average sold price, which is the more important of the two, is 632517 So you can see a disparity between the average list price and the average sold price. Um, the average uh, sold price per uh, square foot is $286, which is good, um, really good actually compared to even uh, the areas in Bressy Ranch and Rancho Carrillo and such. So this, the price per square foot is holding pretty strong. The average days on market for listings are uh, 51 days, uh, which is probably going to get a little bit greater in the next month or two as the winter um, goes on. Um, currently, there are 75 active listings in La Costa. There are eight contingent listings. And for those of you who do not know what a contingent listing is, a contingent listing is a listing that requires some sort of approval in order for it to go through, usually a short sale. So it could also be a probate sale or something to that effect, but it requires usually lender or probate approval. So we categorize those in the MLS as contingent. Uh, there are currently 30 pending listings. Uh, in La Costa. And as in from October 1st to December 12th, there were 77 sold listings. And uh, just to give you an idea, I know people are always curious as to how much the, uh, the, the, the most expensive house that was sold in the, since October 1st was. Uh, there were actually two of them which were very close. Um, 3251 Paragua Street uh, was 5,586 square feet and it sold for $1.547 million. Uh, 7213 
Almaden Lane was 3,365 square feet and it sold for $1.525 uh, million. So the two uh, top listings in the La Costa area were, were very close as far as sold price. Uh, the current uh, active leader in uh, listing price is 2645 Obelisco Place, which is currently listed for around $5 million. Um, and it has been on the market for 76 days. So I hope that this, uh, this uh, market update helps you. And I look forward to providing uh, residents of La Costa with uh, further updates uh, every month. Thank you so much. And again, I'm Michael Gaddis. I look forward to seeing you.